In June 2014, so-called Islamic State fighters occupied huge areas of Syria and Iraq, entirely overwhelming the Yazidi community grouped around Mount Sinjar. Thousands of Yazidis fled before the advance. Those that fell into IS hands were met with the utmost brutality. Men were killed, young women forced into slavery. In a few short weeks, a culture that had existed for thousands of years was brought to the brink of destruction. Though IS were eventually driven out of Iraq, they left behind a broken society and thousands of damaged people. What hope do the survivors of IS violence have to rebuild their lives? Will the Yazidis ever find justice for what has happened to them? I'm Badidashbehayatamgalakoshbuhayatamaizidyahamagalakoshbuhbermatahadekal <laughs> Jarabari <laughs> گوتن گو اوسانا کن گو غیر داعشی گو تشتاکی بیا کی نا کا بابی م کو از پاس نادم او ال پشترا دورانی ام درکات نش کن تیا کش کن در نا کا دام درکاتن ام چونه شنگال ما باسته دورانی ام شی و کل شنگال دمان هنک مرو ون مالو دری بو وقت برایم هاتیا مالی وبرايم قوتي اللي سيبات العزير وقير زارك شهرة دا كام وقوز فيديش دي باوار ناقام دا كام باراق بارابو أم باق بارابو مختي قوتي وإينا بيش مركا دا كام قلقي بادلي مادا دا دا كام ديشا دا كام ديم ديشا هارا خوار ناقة چه كام چه خوار جيه كير نيفروش ما بكرا نيفروش خوار خوش كام انا زوجي جيبا ما بروسيا وكي دلي ما بيان دا مدقو ما أفروجي بكرة خوارنا خوار موي وقتي قوتوان بس من نزعين زيام قرتي هما دليم بيان دا دا عشر بار مارا تشونو تاعتنا مدرنات كابنش حوشي وين مالكي 
کوت نم ناویدن تا خودان کن کودا عاشی ما کوچه. و هاتن کم مساعدا و کن کو در کاب نشمان کو داعش ایوا وان را و سبهی کو در کابن غیرم در کاتن میل ترم پل سوارن و داعش هاتل بر مدت سکنیم کر سعد سه سه عصر وقت داعش کفتی نحر داندا میل کش و همان نگاری پیوی چون در واب سرت کن استرهانت خو سرت کن سوتا اترام مسجله ترام پله می دعونه ته داغامن گو وارا گو فده ها کا تو کرتن گو تزانی چت داد کن گو آنها به قیچوش نه به بهنن بس هتا روزه افرو عم تشتاق کی زلامان زانن ندو پنج سده زلامت گنده حردان کشته نه آوجی چارش مال ششش مال من نفتن. انشالله ای خود ا preparing to explode the building but now they're setting up the cables and the explosives so we take a look inside انشالله. You see here, prisoners. They are Yazidi people. Look at these idiots. Many khalkit kujin mizani zilama sarjet kam mizani vaqi kujinat banu hafid kam. جوان هزارت کجات ها که او فرمان هات یا سریوان و ها که هاتی نگرتن و هاتی نه خط فاندن و چه تشت پیس نمای ها که سریوان هاتی. دورتت کجات گرتن و جیگرات چندن کو که کیفات دیده وارش خورد. The Yazidis' desperate attempts to escape IS by fleeing up Mount Sinjar without either food or water were caught on camera and broadcast all over the world. Germany is home to more Yazidis than any other European country. They reacted with horror to the news from Iraq and thousands took to the street in protest. When we get the first information about killing and mass executions, it was for all of us a shock. Because I am a Yazidi, my parents came from Kurdistan. I know this area, I have a lot of relatives and friends. Uh, and they called me and said, um, please uh, talk to any politicians, talk to the German government, uh, do anything. We are facing a genocide and we don't know what we can do. This feeling of helpless is the worst feeling that you ever have as a human being. Because you know everything, you know, they will kill children, they will behead people, they will rape women. But you are sitting here you, and you cannot do anything. SWR 1 Baden-Württemberg. Leute. Professor Jan Kieselhahn ist Psychologe, Traumatologe, Orientalist. Ich habe schon immer wieder ja auch in der Praxis traumatisierte Menschen, sei es aus Bosnien, Ruanda oder anderen Ländern, äh, behandelt. Hier geht es tatsächlich um ein systematisches Vorgehen. Die UNO oder das Europäische Parlament spricht ja auch schon von Genozid oder Genozid-ähnliches Vorgehen. The young Yazidi women who were sold into sexual slavery were trafficked to IS centers across the Arab world. Louisa was eventually taken to Raqqa, the biggest IS stronghold in Syria. <laughs> مقدس باس نادم حتی دنیم نویر از گله کجی ترسم 
بس پشتی حکم دیتی روش و روش تشتی بزحمت بسری مدکن مگوز بازدن بلام رو بکوشن گو مادن تا باس نادی گو مگوز باس نادم مگو مبتنی به هلاس باس نادم از بشار عیده در کتم من نزانی زیب که داره دا چم جام قزه دیم بازدم او دورانه و جاره از چوم مخوا همو بجل که ترش کرو مشاباکه کشکیناند و متیرا بازدا از گهشتم متکس یک دید مدست خالی بلند کر ساکنیل برمده اگو تمته چه که داره مگو هر احمه حتا جگه تویده چی از بشمده مگو تیده مگو بوک کردستان گو اس نکارم تا بمو گوز کردستان ناس ناکم پشتی هنگه ها گدید از گریام گنهه ویب مهاد گو تا مگو گو تا کردی زانی بپایوی مگو آگو مالا کا کردل وی داره گو اسی تا بموی داره گو زی تل بر داری دانی میاز بماشیم تل داره وان ندی مگو تا یا ماشیم تل داره وان نداز در باس بوم مالا کا تا مرا پایوی بعربی مگو از ایز دیما تشتی درشش خواه کرن گو تا مزی محارب کشینم مگو مازل وی داره بم جا که حتا اسبوع عقد دو دی و پشتی هنگه وی مال که از خلاص کنم. لویزه فاینلی فاند سیفتی ام ون اف دی ریفیجی کمپس دی اپیرد ان نوردن اراق ان دی ویک اف دی آی ایس اتاکس. ان ون دی یزیدیس وومن ان گرلز گت فری فرام دی آی ایس دی کمپ تو ریفیجی کمپس. Eighteen to twenty thousand people live in one camp. All Yazidis, one tent by another one. The condition is very bad. Just imagine the situation of the Yazidis. Sinjar is destroyed by ninety percent. It's not possible to go back. We were talking with ministers in the state of Baden-Württemberg, and actually the Prime Minister, Mr. Kretschmann, came by us the idea of bringing a woman who was captured by the IS of Germany. Zudem wird Baden-Württemberg die Zustimmung des Bundesinnenministeriums vorausgesetzt, ein Sonderkontingent für Mädchen und Frauen schaffen, die im Nordirak oder in Syrien Opfer sexueller Gewalt geworden sind. The journalist asked, how many girls you want to bring? And I said, maybe I will be lucky if they will take the 20 person or 100 persons. And he looked to the left, right, he looked to the right, right, and said 1,000. And that's it. And so we started with this 1,000 person. How money you need to bring them to Germany and give them medical treatment, the doctor's payment and houses and all things. And we came to an amount of 95 million euros that we need. And they said, okay. Uh, and then we started. Before I went to Iraq, I had already 800 names of girls and women captured by the IS and were living now in refugee camps. سی هایی با هشت کفت مده سی داشت ها حتا را که به اینجا هایی با چار دو هزار و پانز دا اف نهم ها اس نه هایی با دستوان دا ما و پشتی زل عراقی ما ایم تقریبا چار ماها پینچ ماها گو ناوی که دکتوری الهانا گو خلکت با المانیا و مزانی ها کاملوی داری نا عیش نما داک بو نما بابو امد به خودان بون بجا ما گو مناوی خانوی سنش المانیا را you know, to be honest, decided, yes, they can come to Germany, it was easy. But on the other side, uh, so you have to make the decision sometimes to say, uh, no, it's not possible. Dr. Kizilhan believed IS raped and enslaved Yazidi women as a means to destroy the whole community. The damage this had done made the selection process more painful. Uh, it was really a very, very difficult situation for me. Because uh, we know after to be raped by the IS, many of the families expelled the girls. They said, you are not anymore belong to our, our society, you are dishonored. 
more than 20 committed suicide because they don't accept it by their own families. You know, you feel like to make a decision about life or not life. Eighteen months after her capture by IS, Luisa finally arrived in Germany. It was kind of a bit of stress and fear. They don't know what has happened. They don't know what is expected. Nobody knows really something about Germany. But they don't know how to go to a doctor, how to shopping, so we have to orient them. We have to treat women and girls, but also support with special knowledge the doctors, translators, social workers, and psychotherapists. <laughs> Helping people with post-traumatic stress disorder has always been part of Dr. Kizilhan's practice. Now, for the first time, he found himself responsible for the care of members of his own community. We have some cases we are totally destabilized. They have kind of lost themselves. And for that, you need to bring them to the hospital and treat them every day. So this is kind of transcultural therapy. We need a confrontation with their own trauma. But for that, you have to be very strong. It's yes, I'm ready to talk about this captured, about this torturing, about the raping. If you go too fast and talk too much about this trauma event, you will re-traumatize this person. And it's individual. Someone needs three months, someone needs maybe eight months. So we will see how it's work. Dr. Kizilhan felt it would aid the women's recovery if they knew that the world understood the enormity of what had happened to them. I'm not a lawyer, but um, if someone is doing something very systematically and want to des destroy a group, a huge group, uh, so this is for me a genocide. As a psychologist, this is a continuing of fighting for identity. It's not a problem of who did it. And maybe if you're thinking positive, despite all this cruelty and all this horrors, this is also this chance that the world community will recognize, yes, there is a group in the Middle East, they are called Yazidis, they have rights, and we should accept them as their own identity. In March 2016, he sought advice from a lawyer about what sort of case might be built on behalf of the women in his care. Professor Sands is a barrister who spent 25 years working on crimes against humanity and genocide. He asked if he could interview any of Dr. Kizilhan's patients. I wanted to know whether the evidence they might give was the kind of evidence that could stand up in court. So you're looking to see their attention to detail, the clarity of their memory, the extent to which they're certain or uncertain. The question you're really asking yourself is, if they were subject to a vigorous cross-examination, would it withstand that type of attack? <laughs> If I can just begin by, if she could tell us her name and her age. Okay. 
اخت سی هیوا هشت ام گرتین ام پچو جنو زارو ام همه برنامه مدرسه ده و زلام و در هیلان ام حبس کرد م م مصری نیفت دیدن م ترکی من نیفت دیدن حتی یکیش آلمانی بود، بسی مثل بود نبج می مسیحی بود. اللي كنت حردان دوما بس من اديت قالك اللي مدا قالك اللي مدا اسكفتم بشتيه الشيء من مهاتين هكا مدي بس خوينش من اديت وزقالك ديشم مزاني اسخت صعب كرما بشتي وجا اس فروحتم اس فروحتم هايكي بيت قوتي ابو مصطفى جدود ديجي بشتي وجا اني باما هراب جيز ديشم قالبون بشتي وجا ای من ترکام می‌ده از نیف و اندام من باس ابو مسافت ها تبامی حتی از اجبا ابو مسافا بوم و هفش از گرانده موسف رفتم متشتن ندید و از کلا گیتیشم مگل خوار نخواری و اسی از ترسام جی مگل خوار نخوار مزانی از زارو بوم مت خود رانی و مزانی هش کج با ابو مسافت از آنی ما مگل لگ هب کد خواری، او هر ناشو. مگل لگ هب کد خوان او هر ناشو. اجی چما آویدره با و مالا آنیه مبلوک کلگرد هبی نام فرانابو. برد دیمی سوگو. مدتو هلگردن هر از نایشام. مس سرک داینو مهر سه هلگردن دلم رایت دلم مگل لگ ایشا و بیشتر مگل لگ ایشا. از هاتم ما خود نفت جای خوکر از گلک ایشام چو. And they were able to identify locations and places and people and time, which is all material that is enormously helpful to a prosecutor in deciding whether to bring a case. Try and brush now. Is she okay? بشتیم بری نوی داره گلا کچ که دیلوه ماله دبونش روژا بری دهید که گرتین همو تانی نوی داره امجی برنا باوان هاتن چم برن هاتن زیر و مبایل و هموش ما برن چه تشتی مربا هموش ما برن دورانه ازش باوان آنیم حتا به زلترم پیلی سوار بومشی ما خوش که خواه که چکر با دعا خود گوتم کو از یتاش خورا به ما میوازه و جینن از گریامو کو پام چه با گریام هونه و سالمت کن هونه ماش خورا بن مگو ما ببم مگو کاتد ویزه چلو کم مگو بس می مازه و جینه مگو کر نای مگو هونه به سلمان امت از دینه مگو کر نای تمش خورا بی اوی هکارات با ما لنجه خسال بی در آمدانی و هر تیم راد با ما کرونا کرم نکو دورانی از هنگی را با ما خوین الوان دارید من راحت مگو What about the punishment of the people who have treated her in the way they have? آری وان مادویش جی جی بینا کشتن مادوی وان چلو وان ام کشتن زهرو کن ما ما بچاو خودی شرجید کرنو تانی نید گود ندا که دوانیا هون کشتن وان بخون مادوی ام جیو سال وان بکن I left wanting to help them. And if I, through the law, could contribute, I was going to do that. And if that meant proving that a genocide had happened, I was going to do that. اشبر از من حیات خود از اجدا کبابت خواهد نبودم روزه که هاو قاسه نزانا کشته نزانا دست وان داد کردینا هتان هوا ام همو تشت کج نزان. مثال ها کنها دا کبابن مهات انجیز هتا دنچ بیر ناکم ها والد من نیف ده ها بون و عشیره که کامل بو همو بتاقه که ام نزانن چه بوان کرن Throughout 2016, Dr. Kizilhan and his team kept track of every woman's recovery on a case-by-case basis. When the time was right, his patients moved to new homes throughout the state of Baden-Württemberg. My man, Gregor, pendet. Pendet. Er fährt 
jeden Morgen zur Arbeit. Und hier auch noch mal so ein Wort. Pünktlich. 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 Ja. Das äh, ist auch wieder Ü. Ja, ich kann das sagen, mhm. aber ich kann nicht das sagen. Bei früh kommt noch ein hinten ja. dran. Früh. Früh. Richtig. Früh. Ja. <lacht> das klingt schon besser. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal und lernen Sie was. Oh, über nächste Woche endlich. Ja, das ist gut. Okay. Okay. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Ciao. تصویر با خواهی ما ها بون این نهاتی نگرد نیا خلاص بون تصویر تلفن و دشتوان ده ها بون تالیا بان تصویر ما خوشگاه ما کچکتری ها عمری و هشت سال مختی ما هاتی نگرد نوه الیزایا هشت سالی بو وقتی از خلاص جی بو میاد بعد آگام بو بس نوانه کسی تا کشه نزانم ات نزامت که داری اخبار کاویشی دینا أفخوش هذه هي أختي الكبيرة هي كان متزوجة كان عنده ولد هي هي كمان هسه بيد الداعش بس أنا عندي أخت أكبر هسه موجودة بالمخيمات نيك هتبعي هتا أزبكرم The International Criminal Court in The Hague has the jurisdiction to prosecute individuals for war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. I've worked at the International Criminal Court for many years and I went to The Hague and uh, met in particular with one prosecutor and said, look, I've met a couple of really interesting people. Um, I'm interested in assessing the credibility, the weight, the authoritativeness of what it is they're saying. And it was very clear the moment he started watching. These were credible, reliable witnesses. I mean, I'm mean, on a human level. I mean, uh, obviously, it's, it's a very, uh, um, it's a very moving and very uh, painful uh, statement. I mean, it could very well constitute uh, uh, offences under the statute. During 2016, defeated IS fighters began to be brought before Iraqi courts, but their trials did not meet international standards. Cases last 10, 12, 15 minutes. Uh, stories emerge vaguely, and then the defendants are executed. Uh, does that help over the long run? I don't think it probably does. What matters is a record before a responsible court. As human beings, we are drawn to uh, victims' stories, and we are, most of us, designed to uh, feel compassion and understand the pain and, uh, of the loss or the suffering that they have uh, that they have gone through. But in the court of law, that will only take you so far. And this is why what we call linkage evidence is so important. You need to build these links from the highest level to the people around him, to the mid-ranking, to, to your lowest level direct perpetrator who may have shot or sniped or, or raped somebody. Without it, we would only be stuck with prosecuting the direct perpetrators. But what we saw in uh, Iraq was something quite unprecedented. The crimes of such gravity that international criminal law needs to be upheld not only for the better future of the community affected by that war, but for the better future of us all.
As the defeat of IS continued in 2017, it became clear that there was little public support for a big international trial. In relation to things like ISIS and other atrocities in various parts of the world, there is a growing demand for summary justice. I mean, we see it um, with the British members of ISIS who happen to be caught. When it's debated in the British papers, there is a large number of people who simply say, what's the point of putting them on trial? Let's just kill them. Uh, here in the studio is Philippe Sands QC, Professor of Law at University College London, and Melanie Phillips, the columnist at The Times. Um, Melanie, kick us off here. What should happen to them? What should we do about them? Uh, we are bombing these people for good reason, because they are. it's not possible to deal with them in any other way. What is your problem with that, Philippe? My problem with that is, where do you draw the line? Do we open the door? to a policy of executing our own nationals. No, That's the issue is, do you issue. open the door to laying this country wide open to people being murdered because you are standing on some abstract legal principle? If terrible atrocities happen and you just move to a simple arrangement of summary justice, the facts get forgotten with the passage of time. And I think people like Louisa and Shirin are entitled to have what was done to them known widely. What's interesting is that Germany has decided to investigate the crimes of ISIS, Daesh, uh, and to apply to those crimes the rules of international criminal law. Back in 1945, the Germans were in the dock. Today, the Germans are taking a leadership role. Das, was die Nationalsozialisten begangen haben, war schwerstes Unrecht. Schwerstes Unrecht. Und jetzt antwortet man darauf mit den Mitteln des Rechtes. Man antwortet mit den Mitteln des Rechtes, weil nur wenn das Recht seinen Stellenwert hat in den Köpfen der Menschen, dann lässt sich auch Recht immer und überall durchsetzen. Ich denke, das ist glaube ich, ein Vermächtnis, das wir aus Nürnberg mit, äh, mittragen müssen. Ein Vermächtnis, das wir auch vorantragen müssen. Nicht nur in Europa, sondern auch weltweit vorantragen müssen. Das ist, glaube ich, für uns auch ganz wichtig. Was wir in der Zwischenzeit auch erreicht haben, ist, dass selbst unser Bundesgerichtshof dass unser Bundesgerichtshof in einem Beschluss festgestellt hat, dass das, was an den Jesiden passiert ist, Völkermord ist. Und dies so zu, zu qualifizieren, das ist auch Hoffnung. Und es ist Hoffnung, dass sich jetzt nationale Gerichte und vielleicht irgendwann einmal auch der internationale Strafgerichtshof, denn die UNO hat sich ja dieses Themas auch immer wieder angenommen und auch immer wieder befasst, aber dass jetzt auch Gerichte in einem justizförmlichen Verfahren dies als diesen schweren Straftatbestand ansehen. Das gibt Ihnen, glaube ich, Hoffnung. By the spring of 2017, Shirin no longer needed treatment at Dr. Kizilhan's clinic. Instead, she saw a therapist in the small town where she'd settled. She learned in Germany as a woman and as an individual get respect by other people. Uh, they recognize there is no reason to be ashamed 
And this gives her the confidence uh, and the power to speak about that. And his character, his personality, is also a person who likes to fight. And she finds a way to cope with this trauma, to talk openly about this and be the voice of her own people. Uh, Luisa is different. Luisa is maybe the um, most important point to change in a positive way was the freed of his family. And this was very important for her to, to accept. Now I am now in Germany, my family is free, my mother and my brothers are free. They are under bad condition, but they are living. وقتی دا کام مرا پیفتی جارا بری م بهور نہ کربو او بل ان محتا دنیا بهور نہ کربو اسو ببینم حبیدی ہادا پشتی دا کام ہاتی وے جی تشتکش حیات ہم غیران مگو لازم اس عمل خوش خودی قد نہ کم انشاءاللہ اے دی جی کے این وی کوڈ سی دس گرل وو واز فیر ایکسائٹی واز گرو اپ لائک ا فلاور شی سٹارٹڈ ٹو لافنگ سمائلنگ Uh, get in contact with people, have friends now. Uh, she's now really a different person. Kirtad haka khodan in mevagar yaban zil Iraqi, vagarin bas tishtaki galakay mazin al Iraqi da hata sarim. Har Iraq jie maya u balade maya u milwe dare buina u medviyan vagar yaban an nef khalke khwa, bas haka khosh nabu. و هر دی موسا فرمان سرسری ما از دیاب تنه بنو بسلمان و سابق نلما هر دی مدویز الالمانیا بعیشم نسبه نگاری مع عراقی ها بکیدی امیل الالمانیا بن هاکا الالمانیا بخدان کن بس گلک اشمارت قنجن خوده هنک جیوکا داک بد ما اشمارت قنجن گلک اجبر مشجاعة تكه جلك هما زين هنا وأزا مجبور أستلبى حقوقي خوبكم وحقوقي قيتو جنيد إيز ديابكم وحقوقي إيز زاروابكم حقا ما أو شجاعة هما زين هنا أزا تشما نايف كيب دروال خوكم وأزا تشما وشي خوون داكم شجاعة هما هنا وأز دلالم إجبر داكم من نافي مكير الدلال وأزا السربي نافي مينم In June 2017, Dalal suddenly decided to return home to Iraq. Dalal's father had been working away from home when IS arrived. He was waiting at the airport to welcome her with other surviving members of her close family, whom Dalal had not seen for nearly three years. Since she left Iraq, with so many Yazidi towns and villages destroyed by IS, refugee camps like Sheikhan had begun to feel like long-term residences.
نقول لك بزحمتها يا باتشا حماتي شو ما طابش بيها ورقه 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 أزمن عاوينا قم بزفر بمينة أسأل كيف أخويا أطلع صراحة مدايا كي كتشا من حقا يعني كتشا تخو نبدل كي خوش هل تقرر نشان قلتونا نقدع شو نا أفتشنينا بالعكس نبخي روانا ولا تاجة سليم أنا ويكش دسي داعش درد كبي أو شمام بيشتنو مقدس ترين بيتر قدري وان قرين هاي لبي أبي كسكرة خير ما قرتن دوزنا ما قرتن ها ها هذا تغوات كم أس خاتون جلال ميلادن ش شنقال بندى حردان أس خالتها دلالي ما مش كذا كاوي ما دلاله قيت كا جهنا كا جهات الصوازن بزبرة شيء ألمانيا يعني عائلة الناس بيدري أكيد نا مرتاح البيدري ألمانيا باشترى جيرة حتى جاري بفرجة خيرة داكا وخشكو برا بزبرة أصلاً ما مش كلامة بس باب من زاني أزا اختصاب كريمة بس مثل باب من سري وإمي بلنبي وباب من بجي قيتا منا شجاعة وقيتا منا خرطة ومثل باب من غسرة من قلقة عافو بكا هنشكي كيفا من جرد هات وبرينا وقلقة كوربو من عبية أز بيشتي بجميتين بس وقت الزحمات هر هن اجبر تشاو از بيجم ان شاء الله روشكي تاكامو اي نفساوي وقتي لازم از بيجم يعني ابو سي سالا هبي تاكامنا كشتيبي هبي برايم خوف جرام بي هبي خوش كام كشت بان هبي برايم دش نزام ربي هبي برايم دد بآخر كربان كور جماعة ده بي هبي خوش كام إش اقتصابي مربي هبي ده كام خو كش بشكر بي خوش كبرايد مدا يعني لازم لازم دش ده هميجي بيشم أفتش تقلك بزحمت هنا حتى روجا فر نزام ميك شيء ساقه مريا راس الدلال أشوم أهل تيخو هم ديتن مقورة جماعي ديتن ومحردان ديتن
منافي جا قادت عراقي ببينو شعوريمي صفرة خوارنينا كهرمنينا آفنينا تشتك الودري نينا Still now, we don't know what will happen in the future with the Yazidis. Uh, I'm not sure if they will able to cope this catastrophe. If not, uh, I believe they will not exist in three, four, five generations anymore. And this is one of the oldest cultures in the Middle East, which is going back to 4,000 years. So we are maybe witness now the end of a, of a small ethnic group. The second option is possible that they are learning from this uh, genocide, from this catastrophe. And through this trauma, they can change the rules and they can change some of the old behaviors, cultures and tradition and having a better future, maybe. Because, you know, Yazidis, uh, especially the women, was uh, very confused regarding their identity. They were raped by the IS and they believed by the rapists they are not Yazidi anymore. Before returning to Germany, Dalal visited the high priest in Lalish to receive his blessing. This is the first time in the Yazidi history a high priest stands up and says, yes, we will change these rules. And uh, uh, for Yazidi, it's a revolution. This genocide, how cruel it is, uh, it's a huge chance by the Yazidi community to define themselves for a new way. And this way, maybe, hopefully, is democratic, is pluralistic, and they will be able to survive not just in Kurdistan, they will survive in the world world. Uh, أس هاي فيك مستشفى ذا جيمة إجبار وطعيم النفسي جالك إنه يخجبو وبشتي أس كفتي ما مستشفى ذا ااا متى سبحة كان وكري دلال تخو بشجعينا وبشتاخو بإيكي جرب نكا إجبار إيك الحياة هاي إيكي ذا نامي نحتا دني I am going to go to the house of 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 مامي فيز بما محامي كي أزا شجاعة بام وأزبها يكي بسكرم أستربع حقية بكم إجبار أف حقية من ناتشو يا الزلم اليكي ناكرة وأستربع حقية بكم وأزا الزلم كو قالك أزا فخور مكروجة كي بجن أو قيجا إيز دي يا الناجيات أفرو إد ألمانيا في تشتيتها 
بس حتى روشا أفرو يكي داعش ناقا عندنا عدالتي حتى نهاجي أس أو كاتم أو كاتا قواد أشجاعات شجاعات أو شجاعات هي طالبا في تشتي بكا وأزي طالبا في تشتي شكام أزي في تشتي مستمر بام